Hi, and welcome to another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. Where we live in our RV full time, traveling across the country, playing music, and helping people to get healthy. So stick around. This is uh, BLM land, Bureau of Land Management. And we're just driving along a dirt road. We are almost there. We came from Salome, Arizona. And we're gonna spend some time here. We do need to check and see if there's a cell signal that's strong enough to be able to do a little bit of work because I have a couple of Zoom calls. Uh, but we're excited to be moving on to a new place. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm, I'm watching our gas gauge because it was nothing as far as fuel between Quartzsite and here. So if you're in Quartzsite and you're coming here, probably a good idea to fuel up in Quartzsite before you head down this way. <laughs> now yeah. if we go south, there's Yuma, so we can fuel there, but we're not good. We're not in any danger. We just, I keep an eye on it. Well, and we have extra gas. We have an extra tank of gas, correct? Yeah. Yeah. So. We will see what this is like, but uh, it's a nice day. A little windy on the road, and uh, you said that you felt that. You felt those gusts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, just a few more minutes, uh, 10 more minutes, and we'll see what it's like where we're going to stay for a little while. For a little ride with a friend to uh, check out a spot where we are going to boondock and what did you find out uh we did some speed tests for cell and okay um this spot will be pretty good at and is a little slight um uh, rise is better good so we're gonna camp right here okay well and to end with our friends yes let me turn this around and take a look at our spot So we found out one thing at this boondocking spot is that, hi Jacqueline, <laughs> is that um, the internet's not very good and for uploading videos it makes it a little tough. So we are going to go into Yuma, find a better signal and upload the video. Part of it is that we ran out of our hotspot. So we've been using it a lot because we've been boondocking so um, we are not at a campground that has Wi-Fi. although. Those are kind of hit or miss yes. anyway. Right, we find that those those campgrounds anyway are rarely uh, giving us the signal we need anyway. So I guess we're waiting for something better to come along for our internet. We're going to research it. We're going to research it. And I just repeated what you said. <laughs> Plus you validated what I said, then reset it. Plus I validated what Jacqueline said, and then I reset it. <laughs> you want to redo it? What's the plan for the day? Well, uh, we found out a couple of days ago that our absolute favorite band, Roger Klein and the Peacemakers out of Arizona, are having a camp out. And uh, we had done one 
a while back and now they're having another one almost like an impromptu one so we had to get to where we have a strong signal because we're going to get tickets and uh, we're pulled over on the side of the road <laughs> in a safe you know big pull-off area but uh, I'm just waiting we've got five minutes until tickets go on sale right and what's the event it's a they're, they're limited very limited tickets yeah, they're limited because due to, you know, COVID social distancing, uh, but it is outdoors and it's perfect for us because you literally bring your RV and you park out on the, the Klein Ranch. In and a, In a cow pasture. Yeah, in a cow pasture. No cows though, thankfully. And uh, we'll just be listening to music the entire three days that we're there. So we're so excited. It's just, you know, this makes everything worthwhile it's one of those things that makes this lifestyle worthwhile because when those uh when the announcement came out we could say hey yeah we can do this like let's go where else do we have to go we can just go we're in arizona right now anyway so let's just go and we're we have to live in our rv anyway we do have so to live like in we our park RV. The rv and go to a hotel <laughs> We just bring our house there, and that's where we live yeah. for the weekend. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, one thing that one thing I like about it is the people are really fun there. The other thing is that they are safe. They really do um, make sure that you know you're not sitting in clumps of people. It's basically if you came in this RV together, you kind of hang in that little spot, and we do the same. Um, and then we do the two beer walk. And we walk out into um, the desert on the ranch, and Roger explains like what movies were shot there and everything. It's pretty cool. It's gonna be much warmer this time. Yeah. Was it hot last? It wasn't hot no. last time. We didn't have to run our AC last time. It was in October. It's October. That's right. I forgot about that. So they just added this show. So we had to come into town to get good signals, so we didn't miss getting tickets. And it is now 9:56. Seven. <gasps> Only three minutes, and we have to get these tickets. We're so excited. We're going, we're going, we're going. Got my tickets. Thank you for your order. Where are we going? We're heading to Mexico. Yeah. yeah. So, what's the name of this city? Algodones. El Gadones. El Gadones. I think. And we're gonna uh, walk across. And we might even be getting our teeth cleaned. Mm, our pearlies. <laughs> so we've talked to a lot of people that uh, go across here and uh, they get their teeth cleaned. And I think eye exams and glasses too. Yeah. So we'll see. What are you looking forward to? Oh, I want to get my teeth cleaned. I'm pumped. <laughs> Just jazzed. <laughs> Me, I want to have a cerveza and uh, maybe a fajita. Mm. Yes. Me, you. Your I accent know. just kicked in. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> All right. Let's go. Market Square. Ah. Oh yeah. They know their market. They know we'll buy it. So I will share a funny story with you. When I was a kid, we traveled with four other couples in our motorhome down to Juarez, Mexico. Crossed the border, 
and they actually went so many times that my folks actually rented a storage unit okay on the u.s border and they would go over and everybody would get their allotment of marble chess sets and some raros and liquor and whatever and they would bring it back and then we'd go back the next day and they would get more and they would come back and then one time they said, oh, I think they're suspicious. We should switch couples. <laughs> so now I was someone else's kid and everything else. It was mo it was so ridiculous. But I mean, that had to have been, I don't know, 35 years ago or something like 40 years ago. So but, the only reason you're telling this story is because the statute of limitations. Exactly. Yeah, they can't come and get me now. Right. Right? <laughs> right. But we do need to go back across the border. So they'll probably be like, oh, there he is. There's that guy. <laughs> Getting all packed up and ready to leave our boondocking site here at Mitri Lake in uh, the Yuma, Arizona area. And kind of sad, it's bittersweet. So it's a really beautiful area and we've really enjoyed being here. Um, you know, it's just gorgeous, it's different. We've been in Arizona for a while and we have a lake here and uh, some mountains, hills and quiet we're just alongside the road it's a wednesday afternoon and there's really nobody around but it's been a week and you start to just want to go and see something else and you know i'm not sure why that is why we're not content um, being in one place for very long but we're not <laughs> and that's the beauty of this lifestyle is that we get to pack up and leave whenever we want to. Still a thing as way as before on an empty beach at the cliffs and more Well, if this old memory serves Yeah, crystal white sands and crescent moon curves I remember being lost back there When I lost my brother and my only friend well, if this old memory serves You make one bad decision And get what you deserve Oh, so he You don't know me like I do Oh, so he No one gets me quite like you So we're in Felicity, California. Do you Is know that, that that's the town we're in? I did not. That's where we are. And we uh, just got water, fresh water, for a dollar for every five gallons. And then we are waiting for, to upload our latest video. Other days it's my biggest fear. Well, I can leave here and never look back. Under a blue moon I tell myself Maybe I should cash in my savings for a big motorbike Move to Brooklyn, make Zoe my wife Oh Zoe, you don't know me like I do Today we're going to go to Valley of the Names. 
Belly of the Names. This was recommended to us by a friend, and uh, we're going to go take a look. Um, what is it? Looking at rocks. So I guess from what he said, people go in there and they um, put their names, they spell their names out in rocks. You can get an aerial and see all of these names in rocks, and it's supposed to look really cool. I think that'll be fun to put our name out there. There's a shell surfacing poem with the arrow in the sky. One word hits a white cloud that was just floating by. Cloud falls and downs right to the shore. Coming along nicely. Yeah, it takes time. We're trying to kind of dig them in so that uh, they'll stay as well. What are you spelling? The entire name of you and I, of our band. The border hookups. Doesn't seem like it'd be that hard, but it takes a while. <laughs> Well, she looked like so You don't know me like I do Oh, so No one gets me quite like you Oh, so Well, you don't know me like I do Oh, so No one gets me So I'm going to talk about this before we go out there because it's windy and there seems to be a lot of wind in the southwest because there aren't a lot of obstacles to slow it down and what we are going to do is we're going to go to the Imperial Sand Dunes. Um, rumor has it, part of Star Wars, the original one or the first one, I don't know what order they go in, um, was shot here when they're uh, walking through the desert. Um, and we all already see a lot of uh, sand buggies and things like that up there, so we're going to try to get some film of that, um, probably without audio because of the wind. Um, but we're going to finish the video and get over there and see what we see. It's been an incredible two weeks, hasn't it? Absolutely. You know, I was thinking about it. If there was ever a time when I knew that we had made the right choice by going full-time RVing in the last two weeks, this was it. I agree. Just, you know, the places we've seen, the way we've been able to 
pack up and just move to another site and basically stay anywhere right. um, with all of these amazing things in the background, scenery, mountains, lakes. Uh, gosh, it's been absolutely incredible. And I don't think that I could go back to living in a sticks and bricks in one, no. one place and no. not being able to move. No, absolutely. Uh, you feel like you're checking off boxes every day <laughs> and every week. It's checking off, seeing more things. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah, it's just been, it's been absolutely incredible. It really has. And when we started out, we thought, well, we'll give it a year. Right, right. right. Yeah, we're going to try this for a year because we don't know. We might hate it. <laughs> uh, it might be really difficult, but it has been about 10 months. Almost right? 11. Yeah. 11 months. And I just can't see this stopping. I can't no. see, you know, settling down anywhere. Right. Every every now and then we uh, we get bored and we start watching our old videos just for fun. And we kind of look at each other and say, did we do that? Was that us? Oh. We go out there and do that? Right. So many different experiences. Like you forget. Oh my gosh, we saw that. And look at what we did there. And oh, it's... Yep. It's so amazing. It right. is so amazing. Highly suggested. Mm -hmm. So in a nutshell, we made the right choice. We're not going back to sticks and bricks anytime soon. Nope. And we <laughs> want to say thanks everybody for watching another episode of the Border Hookups Go RVing. And please remember to subscribe and to ding that bell. And one more thing that I'm going to say in this episode that you just watched. Um, we have the Border Hookups Rock Formation out in Valley, Valley of, of the, the Names in California, Arizona. Uh, in Arizona. On the Arizona Almost. side. Almost. We yeah. went back and forth. Mm -hmm. If you go out there and you get your picture taken with it, drive safely though. It's a bumpy ride. Yeah. Um, we'll give you something. We'll give you something. <laughs> We're not going to tell you what it is. Yeah. It's yeah. not our camper. It's not our truck. You can wipe those off the list. Yeah. We would love to see a picture of you by our border hookups name that was spelled out with rocks. Right. So if you get a chance, please do that. And please give us a thumbs up if you liked this episode and place a comment below. We've been getting so many comments yeah. that we've been able to respond to so far. Um, so that's been a lot of fun. Yeah. Uh, and we hope to see you out here. And we'll see you out here. I think that worked. Yeah. Oh, I was going to turn it off, but you want to keep talking? I don't know. <laughs> I have, the thing is, is I have nothing funny to say. <gasps> well, I just laughed at you, so maybe, maybe it's <laughs> that all your... funny. <laughs> I'm all tapped out. <laughs> I know. You get out on the road and you just quit caring about anything. Oh. Yeah. That's not true. I haven't showered in 17 weeks. <laughs> yeah, we wouldn't be here together if that was the case. <laughs> she can, yeah, exactly. No, you smell good. I smell fresh. <laughs>